Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here for another episode of Bearcat's Reviews. And for today's review, we have the Marvel Legends series, Writers series, The Punisher. And so, I'm very happy and excited to show you guys this figure. Um, I was looking for Beachhead and the Cobra Trooper and Baroness from the Cobra Wave, and I found him in a Target, so I picked him up. And I was very excited to get this figure because I thought he look, looked really cool. And if you do recognize, yes, from the Snake Eyes review yesterday, that is the same machine gun that we saw with Snake Eyes. So, well, let's get started and look at the Punisher. Looking on the side here, we got this nice picture of Punisher on his motorcycle. On the back here, we got Marvel Legends series, the Punisher. Little pit product shots all over and a little re-up right here. If you want to read it, you can pause it right now. And then moving along on the top here, we got the classic Punisher skull. From the bottom, we got not much more. On this side, it's the same, same Punisher photo. And on the front, back to the front. So, Let's get to it and crack open the Punisher. And here we got the Punisher out of the box and in his in this nice little pose here. And I gotta say, this figure is amazing. I love this figure. Punisher was always one that interested me as a kid, but it never made me go, oh man, I love him. And I thought he was interesting. And then I got older and watched the Netflix Daredevil show and the Punisher show and saw John Berthold's portrayal of Punisher. And I just got even more interested in him. And so, I gotta say, I love this character. I picked up this figure because I just love the realistic look and the motorcycle with him and everything. He just, it's amazing. But to start off, we're gonna take a look at Punisher's accessories and then we'll get a closer look at Punisher. So here are the Punisher's accessories and we'll start off with the obvious being his motorcycle. Uh, as you can see, it's just a plain black motorcycle and I really like it. Um, I actually have other rider waves from the series. I only have one other one. It's the uh, Wolverine one. And I really enjoyed that figure, although he's in a box right now somewhere for moving back and forth from college So I will not be comparing the motorcycles in this video But I will tell you it's from it's the exact same motorcycle The only difference is Wolverine's is blue and silver Punisher's is all black and the saddle bag is missing and then the, mo the top here is different because instead of Wolverine's shorter instead of being the short longer handlebars, it's like it's the handlebars from the uh, Amazon exclusive Captain America figure, so it's the more long and handlebars up top. So, but as we take a closer look here, we can see there's a little skull on his speedometer here, which that's really cool. And then if you look, he's got this one comes with a license plate. So, as you can see here, the license plate says NYC, I love New York, punish 616, which I don't know if that's supposed to be a callback to Earth 616 or whatnot, but I love it still either way. And as you can see, he's got this little kickstand here for the motorcycle, so you can keep it standing or not. And it does roll very well when you can get to roll, since motorcycles don't usually like to stay up on their own when like this. But as you can see, it does roll really well. So let me pop out this kickstand real quick again and put the motorcycle back up. Okay, there we go. And then we'll take a closer look to his other accessories here. He comes with weapons being he is the Punisher. He will come with some weapons. So we can start here. We got this nice little machine pistol here. It's really nice. And they do have ports on these one on this one and the shotgun. So that if you get the effect pieces from like Black Widow or from uh, the new War Machine figure coming out, uh, you can put a little smoke on the stack on here and it looks like he just fired the gun. Um, like I said, we got this sawed-off double barrel shotgun, which I love posing with this. This is my favorite one, I think, to pose them with. Uh, then we have a baseball bat, which made me laugh at this, because I could see it being a weapon, and I could see Punisher using it, but it made me think more Casey Jones from the Turtles than Punisher, but I still loved it. Um, a machete, which I could totally see Punisher using this also, which is also a nice one. Um, the Uzi, which you saw me use it in the Snake Eyes video. Uh, really like this. I can't remember, is it Uzi or Mantis? I think it's Uzi, but as you can see, no, it's Mantis, I think. It's the Mantis. But anyways, it's a nice gun. Really nice. I like this gun. And then for head sculpts here, you can see we got this plain frowning head sculpt, which looks nice. Really like that. It's a nice look to it, as you can see. And then we have the battle damage head sculpt here, which, as you can see, it's got little scars on them and bloodshot eye there and bandages all over him so you can see he's just angry he's, you see that and then the last accessory here we got this funky little helmet which I had 
look, had to look up, and my brother helped me figure out what it's from. It is from a comic series called the uh, War on the Realms, where it just ended recently, and the full story I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe it was, uh, if I remember correctly, there was a uh, Asgardian named, also named Frank, who lost his family to frost giants, and so you see Frank Castle would be with. Uh, Juggernaut, Black Knight, a couple other different heroes and villains, anti-heroes, and they'd work together to go after the uh, the uh, guys, the people who killed that guy's family. But the big thing was, you see in the scene, he kills a zombie as guardian and steals their helmet. And so, as you can see, you can put it on either head, and it's supposed to mimic that scene from the comic books. So that looks really nice. And then you can put it on the battle damage head too, so it covers up all some of the feet damage but like give them a nice grr angry look for fighting so I really like that so now we've seen the accessories and now we'll take a closer look at the Punisher so now taking a, so now taking a closer look here at the Punisher as you can see here he is standing here in all his glory um, from what I've seen the bo base body mold here is the same as the uh, Netflix Luke Cage figure so for the legs and the torso here the arms are all new the heads all new so as you can see, we've got the bandage head on it. So what, and it's got the classic Punisher skull here. And then what you can see is with the arms, they did the new uh, technology that they're implementing where they're making it so you can't see the pinholes and where the arms are. So that's that looks really interesting, I like that. Uh, but anyways, moving on to articulation here, his head, he can look, he has a ball joint hinge combo so he can look up that far and he can look down that far. Uh, obviously 360 head and a little bit of a swivel pivot there. Uh, its arm can move up this far, down, rotate 360. It's got a little bit of movement, but I don't know if that's because of the peg itself or what. Uh, bicep swivel here, double jointed elbows, which bend good amount. Um, on his left hand here, it, the wrist moves up and down like this. And then on this one here, it can do a side to side. So that's the only difference between the arms. Uh, moving right along here, you got an ab crunch, which you can crunch that forward, crunch back that much. Um, legs can spread that far apart. He can have a waist swivel here, uh, kick forward that far, back not far at all. Uh, double jointed knees, thigh swivel here, ankle can move down that much and up that much, and he's got an ankle pivot. And so that's it for articulation. I gotta say, I love the added accessories here of a little ammo shoulder thing and the um, shoulder holster, I would say, but there's no holster, and the little ammo pouch here on his thigh. So I gotta say, those look great. But now that we've seen that, we'll. <laughs> now that we've seen the Punisher here, we will move along to his size comparisons. So for size comparisons, as we can see, Punisher here is standing at just a almost seven a little under seven inches tall and so for the size comparisons we're going to start off with the figure from our last review being the gi joe classified series snake eyes figure so you can see there and i will say i've been told the reason this punisher is so tall like i said is because he's on the uh luke cage body mold and given how luke cage is a tall guy that would be why he is so tall but now moving along for the comparisons after snake eyes there we have the Netflix series Punisher John Berthold Punisher so you can see how they scale together get them close together there we go so you can see how they scale together Next, because he's worked with him so many times, uh, and because this is the only version I have, here we have Punisher with the Netflix Daredevil. So you can see how they scale together. Next, because he's another character we've seen Punisher work with before in the comics, and because he also uses lots of weapons like the Punisher, we're going to have the Punisher here with Deadpool. So you can see how they scale together. Uh, next one we're going to have is because we saw 
Punisher help out Iron Man in an animated movie called called um, The Rise of Technivore. Here we have Punisher next to the Marvel Avengers Game Reverse Iron Man. There we go. So you can see how they scale together. And then lastly, for our basic six inch scale comparison, here he is next to the Star Wars Clone Wars Captain Rex. So you can see how that scales together. And here we have this sweet action pose of Punisher here shooting off his shotgun. And I gotta say, I love this figure. This is an amazing figure. This Riders line has been doing pretty good jobs, really good jobs with these figures. And I really love this Punisher. Um, I think he's a must have if you're a Punisher fan or if you enjoy collecting Marvel Legends or the Riders line, especially. So, uh, thanks again for watching my video from start to finish. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, tell me what I can do to make this better. And tell me if you, there's something you want to see reviewed. And I will gladly review it. Um, if I'm able to get to get it and I'd like to thank you all again for supporting me through starting my channel I really appreciate it and I definitely keep going um, thank you all again for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next episode of Bearcat Reviews